Hey folks, I hope you're doing well. This is James Price, the founder of Access All Rooms. Just doing a bit of an impromptu blog here. I've been very kindly asked to come out and do some speaking here at the Future Accessibility Conference in Dubai. Uh, we've been looked after very well. It's been very interesting. It's great to see that Dubai really are making a push to make this a uh, completely accessible city for all by 2020. It's very exciting times and got to hear some very, very important and influential speakers from, you know, Dubai, around the world and uh, the United Nations, which has been is fascinating. But I think one of the key things that we do with the Global Access Awards Scheme um, is obviously advising hotels on the access and then also advising the customers about the access as well. And one of the key things that really came out of today and yesterday was talking about the usability of accessibility. And we're staying in the Sheraton Grand on Sheikh Zayed Road, uh, sponsors of the event. Uh, they have fantastic accessible rooms and there's been a number of people in wheelchairs staying in. I apologize for the camera work, obviously I'm doing it selfie style uh, and I'm actually doing it from a bathroom. I don't like hanging out in bathrooms, but I promise you it's for a reason. Uh, so we're doing it in the, the Sheraton Grand and it's been a fantastic venue and they've ticked every box in terms of accessibility and but it's the usability of the accessibility which is key and which is why we do the global access award scheme so we can let you guys know exactly what the hotels have got so i'm just going to give you an example because i like to show the good the bad and the ugly uh, one of my last ones was showing the good now i want to show the you know the bad not the ugly the bad because it's really good accessibility but not the best usability so I'm in the accessible bathroom, which is why I'm in here. And I'm just gonna show you one of the things that just sometimes I don't think, you know, who who actually signed this off to be um, to be an accessible bathroom. So the room itself is fantastic. Uh, the curtains are remote control operated. There's lots of space. Uh, you've got a huge double bed, interconnecting rooms, uh, lots of touchscreen controls. And uh, you go into the accessible bathroom, huge, nice, big bathroom, you know, all the space that you could possibly need. It's got the emergency alarms, it's got the phones, it's got the grab rails next to the toilet, plenty of transfer space around. And then we get to the shower. Let me show you this because it made a few of us laugh over the last, uh, the last couple of days because uh, we we're all in the same boat when we got here. So, the accessible shower again it, it's really good you know space wise it's there and then you go to have a shower and you're faced with this shower seat okay this shower seat is tiny you know and most of us are not tiny so i'll actually put some perspective to this so this is a really accessible shower so they're getting it right and they're trying and it's technically accessible but it's actually only the size when you take the backrest into account literally probably four inches of seat space so somehow you're supposed to transfer onto four inches of seat space and then once you're in here and you you know you're hanging on for dear life trying to have a shower yeah you've got the rails in front of you to kind of stop yourself from falling over and trust me you need them to stop yourself from falling over you then have the facilities for soap and all that stuff is right up behind you so you can't get anywhere near it safely when you're in the shower and then the beautiful rain shower is up there, you can see it above my head. It's about a foot in front of actually where you sat. So to actually benefit from the rain shower, you have to lean forward and leaning forward on a kind of four inch seat isn't the best thing in the world. And then we move over to the sink. And again, it goes to usability of the accessibility. You've got the standard size platform and then they've you know, really thought about it and they've lowered the sink for wheelchair users. Obviously they've got that in mind, it's the architects, it's the design. Looks lovely, good idea, but actually for me, for somebody in a wheelchair, can I actually get to the sink? No, you can see my knees are, you know, all over. Can't get anywhere near it, so. I think something that really needs to be taken into account is yes, if you're gonna be accessible, and you're gonna put the money into it, then why not just double check that what you're doing is suitable for everyone and make sure that what you're making accessible 
is usable. And the same goes for visual impairments. The, the elevators have braille buttons, but for security, you have to swipe your room key to make the buttons work. But there's nowhere in the lift that visually, well, it doesn't matter if it's visually, but vocally tells you that you need to swipe your card. So if someone with a visual impairment is pressing the braille button thinking, why am I going to my room? Because nothing's telling them that actually you've got to swipe your card above it. So it really defeats the purpose of the object. So I just wanted to enlighten you with a little bit of uh, non-usability of an accessible room and why we have to do what we do. Thanks for watching. I'm always waffling on telling you about uninteresting stuff about hotels and access and all that kind of stuff that many of you probably don't find very interesting but the way you would find interesting is my new fish tank because I think it's pretty awesome. to the Dubai Mall because uh, I wanted to see the Burj Khalifa. I see it every time I come here but I love it. I think it's just an amazing thing. But a little, little top tip, if you're coming down here, come to Dubai Mall, come to the uh, Texas Roadhouse, just had a beautiful ribeye, reasonably priced, really, really good. And a uh, little top tip for Dubai, just uh, leave the waiters a little tip, be nice and friendly. Uh, try and say salam alaikum to the locals because it just gets you a little bit of respect and uh, yeah, come down and enjoy this place.